Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are going to be going over how to make Smoothie Plus and also checking out the new updates that are Christmas themed or holiday themed as you may see uh, inside of the update and what you can build with it. So the first thing I'm going to say about Smoothie Plus, okay, what you're going to need is you're going to need these muscle sprouts. I made a video on how to get them, but here they are. Good old muscle sprouts. Just grab as many of them as you need. I don't know if they respawn yet. If they do, it probably takes like five days because I haven't seen them happen in game yet and I've played for a little while. This is a new game that I spawned in um, so that way I could take a look at it. But yeah, so those are the muscle sprouts. You're going to need those for Smoothie Plus, okay? Um, I would suggest not grabbing all of them. Also, do not eat them. Uh, what I've noticed with the muscle sprouts is if you eat them, it actually damages your health. So really, it's not worth you going through and, and eating one of them. Here, we'll actually read the comments for you. It says, an edible hybrid Brussels sprout, which obviously Peaches loves. Uh, chewy muscle flaps, ripe and flexed. Restores hunger when eaten, but also causes pain. Sprouts giveth and sprouts taketh away. So yes, Brussels sprouts or muscle sprouts in this game, uh, they actually kick your butt. So it's funny that they did that because of what Pete says whenever he eats something that he doesn't like. Ugh, it tastes like mom or dad's brothel sprouts. But um, it's just, it's a neat thing that they're keeping everything all integrated in. Now I'm gonna get over here really quick to my smoothie maker, but on the way, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the holiday update that's happened. Now we will wait till night time for these things to light up so you guys can see it. But if you look on the house, you can see that the house is covered with cute little Christmas lights. Um, so they have added Christmas lights to the actual um, to the actual house that's here, and they actually cover that entire satellite dish as well. Sadly, this is the only holiday themed item that's in the game right now. Uh, there isn't anything else um, here in the pond, in any of the bases or anything like that that's Christmas themed. You guys can see that I built the Luxor, but more or less out of, uh, out of roofing pieces. This was my first attempt at a Christmas tree. I did this on a charity live stream that I did that was absolutely fantastic. Um, raised up a ton of money. Uh, but then my good friend Mike Lowry came to stream with me and uh, he built me this one and said, look at how much better this looks than what you did over there. You should have built your Christmas tree like this. And I'm like, Mike, Thank you for showing me this. That's awesome. But uh, you kind of just kicked me in the pants with my version of doing things for Christmas. So cool thing you guys can do here. It's really easy to make one of these. It's a lot of the square roof pieces. And then you just start uh, putting in uh, these uh, slanted roof pieces whenever you can as well. So that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, it's nice and easy. My version of a star at the top uh, literally is a bunch of torches like that. Uh, it lights up enough at the top of the tree to make it look a lot like a Christmas tree. But really, at the end of the day, uh, this looks a lot more like a Christmas tree. And you can sneak these slime mold stock lanterns uh, in here as well. It's a little difficult, but as long as you can kind of swindle it around, you can make this happen so you guys can build it. Okay, so back to Smoothie Plus. So how do you do it? So you go, to, you go here and you put in one of these muscle sprouts, right? And then you take two of one smoothie. Now, I just made some fuzz on the rocks because it's the easiest smoothie to make. But see, look at fuzz on the rocks plus. Now, we're going to craft that out. And I'm going to show you guys what the difference is. So, in here, fuzz on the rocks, a li literal as they come, drinking this disgusting combination somehow makes you healthier for a while. It gives you drinkable, it gives you plus to maximum health, and it heals you, right? Well, this guy is the exact same, except it is quadruple i believe the potency so it gives you even more max health it heals you even more and it's even more drinkable it gives you back even more uh, liquid when you drink it so something like this wow something like this could really change it for you guys i'm actually going to be going through and making some of these on my wool playthrough that i'm doing these exact smoothies because this right here with the bonus to a large boost to max health and it lasts longer um Really, I mean, you just, you gotta love it, and you really do need it. Um, so, I would suggest you guys get out there, test it out. It works with every single smoothie in the game. So, go ahead and test those out. Whatever your guys' favorite smoothie is, whatever your favorite smoothie is, please let me know down in the comments, and I'll make sure I heart your guys' comment. Um, especially all of you newcomers from Kick Club. I would love to see all you guys here as well, so I appreciate all of you guys uh, that came over. Make sure you guys uh, leave your comments down below. Um, if you guys are wondering also what Pete is wearing here, guys, um, I'll go over this just for a second here, but I'm going to go into it in a more in-depth video as well. 
I have the Firefly headlamp. It gives you a lamp on the top of your head that looks a lot like a helmet made from a Firefly butt. I have a Weevil shield, which actually does act as a shield um, that you make from a Weevil uh, shell. And then the Mosquito rapier, um, now, or they call it the Mosquito needle, a fast and deadly rapier that mimics the functionality of a Mosquito's blood-sucking tool that actually gives you life steal as well. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it is an actual stabbing weapon. So... At the end of the day, good weapon, good shield. You can block with it like that. Very good. And then you have the torch on top of your head. So it makes so playing at night is no longer as scary as it normally would be. Uh, so having this really, it really does bolster you up a little bit. Um, there's also Fin Flops Plus that you can get from unlocking the secret chest um, under the pond and then bringing you the chip to burgle that you get from there. If you guys want to know about how to do that, I made a video on that as well. I'll probably put it into uh, the cards that are popping up somewhere up this way ish up there somewhere um but i hope that you guys will go and check that one out we are almost to the time for those lights to light up it actually has to hit nighttime um before that happens and also i'll just say that at the end of the day even though this looks like luxor's pyramid um it does kind of look like a christmas tree as well so it was my first attempt we did it for charity right and that's what matters um so yeah, this is, uh, I would suggest you guys try to build one of these out. Um, and also the cool thing is, is I've actually started, a, I'm going to start a base underneath here. One of these corners just happens to be large enough for me to get a base in here. Lots of room, easy place to build a base. And hopefully I can get that built out here uh, in one of the next upcoming live streams. Cause I think that that would be, that'd be pretty cool to get, um, you know, a pyramid base going. All right. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait for a second and I'll meet you guys back in just a moment whenever these lights show up so I can show them off. Okay guys, so what I've done here is I've just decorated the tree a little bit, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about with the awesome, awesome, awesome addition of the Christmas lights. So I'm going to go into bug toggle mode here, uh, makes it so I could fly around really, really fast outside of my person's body. And as you guys see here, it is just an absolute gorgeous scene of having some good old multicolored Christmas lights up there. Let me just get rid of that HUD for you guys so you guys can really see. Look at that absolutely fantastic i love it so much i'm gonna take a screenshot that's gonna be the thumbnail for this bad boy but guys that is the absolute best that they could probably do for us for that for this christmas eve event whatever you want to call it a uh, holiday event uh without going a little bit too far so the fact that we were able to build a christmas tree and we have us a nice uh good old uh set of christmas lights up on here i wonder if they would let you build a wreath on the side of the building hmm something to try but that is all the time i've left for this one guys so thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please make sure you guys hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more and if you guys want to see it i'll keep on recording it let me know what you guys want me to build down in the comments or what your favorite smoothie recipe is like i said before and you will get a heart and as always i will see all of you guys in the next one